Uh, I've lived here 20 years. So they kind of, a lot of people call this the Ark House. What I'm doing today is I'm starting a thing about suffragettes. And my original sketch started out like this. I just decided I made the women too ugly. <laughs> Well, when I started, it was March 24th. I was, I was out here in a coat. I, my, my paintbrush would freeze. Rain, I put an umbrella over me. I painted a new painting every day in an hour, and uh, it was one over the other. I, I absolutely love the Mississippi. And I, I go there at least three times a week. I have to, for some reason, just have to see it. And um, so all of those paintings had the Mississippi in it, and all those paintings have the arch in it, in some manner. Like this one should have the arch, and I haven't put it in there, but I still might sneak it in. Maybe I should right now. It doesn't match the theme. But who cares? Now I ran a, a art gallery at 12th and Russell, and it was going to be shut down. It was shut down, and I still felt like the public should have art available to them somewhere because all the big institutions were shutting down. All the small galleries were shutting down. I was just thinking of all those people that have to be out there and how I might be able to make them smile every day. And I call this art to make you smile. Meeting new neighbors is, has been wonderful. People walk by, people drive by. Me too. I stay well. People honk, people yell. Usually I don't have my hearing aids in, so I don't hear them. <laughs> It'd be nice to have them all together at some point. And so the ones I've sold, I've said I'd like to borrow them back for a show.